Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello. Welcome to the video for what is set actor relative scale three D. Well, let's go ahead and look at this note itself. Let me undo this and recombine. And we'll look at the base note, and we'll understand it really only has a special use. The set actor relative scale 3D node is basically designed to take in an actor, set its relative scale in 3D, that's why it's taking in a vector. Now what makes this kind of a special use is it's a lot like our set... Uh, second the set world scale 3d going on the scene component however because this is an actor node we're going to take in an actor but there's something a little bit odd about that well your actor is going to be your root component on your object let me pull up our transform box here and pull it up and we're going to be setting the scale right here of our root component now because this is a set actor relative scale 3d it means relative to its parent however the actor is technically its parent so what makes this weird well let me plug this in and then let me explain the weird use for it so here's it in the world and let's change our values and you can see it's setting our scale and if we were to look at the scale itself we'd be seeing the roots scale is changing so that's something to keep in mind it's going to set the root now what makes this slightly different is, keep in mind, let's go back into here and hit play again. Let's set this to 2, 2, and 2. Let's go ahead and look at our transform boxes. Let's go ahead and look at our root, and we'll see our scale is set to, well, there we go. I have a snapping turned on, so we kind of have these funky numbers here. We technically get greater than 2. Here, let's do 2, and 2, and 2. There we go. So we have 2, 2, and 2. However, our root you know, down here is technically going to change as well, if you notice. So here's our scene component here, and here's our root. Let's change these back to one, one, and one. And you notice at the same time, the scene component changes at the same time as the root changes. But you'll notice the children below that don't change. Well, the reason why I said this one's kind of weird is, technically, this will be setting it basically in world space. However, you do have the ability using the attach nodes. You have attach actor. Let's turn this off. You have attach to actor and attach actor to actor. And technically, you, these are deprecated, but you have attach actor to actor. What this will allow you to do is technically we could take this actor, these cubes, these boxes, and attach it to another actor somewhere on it. Basically, somewhere on it, it's going to have an actual specific component. So we could attach these boxes onto this cylinder and have another actor on it. When you do that, that is when our actor relative scale 3D comes into play. Because you can actually have another parent for this actor when you're using the attach nodes. And when you're doing that and you want to set it relative, that means if your parent is one and you want this one to be half of the parent size, you wouldn't have to figure out the math. You would just set it relatively. So basically, this node is going to allow you to set the entire actor's scale relative to its parent. The majority of the time, it's going to be the world scale because it's not going to have a parent. Its parent is going to be the world inside the scene. But if you have this attached to another actor, then that is when the relativity part of this will come into play. And that's pretty much it. This is going to wrap up the set actor relative scale 3D node. You're going to use this when you want to set the scale of the actor in the world relative to its parent. And remember that parent's going to be either the world itself or it's going to be another actor if you've attached it. 